going to make a horse arena and paddock for a doll using recycled cardboard, wooden slats from the craft store, scrapbook paper, a few boxes of kinetic sand, watercolors, large jump rings and chain, small hinges, wooden dowels, acrylic paint, masking tape, and glue. I am using a recycled trifold from the science fair, however any recycled cardboard would work as well. I start by removing the sides, so I am left with a large flat piece of cardboard. We found these wooden slats at the craft store, and they come in a variety of widths. We purchased four long rectangles, some smaller rectangles, and squares. I glue the long rectangle slats around the edge of the cardboard, making a frame that goes all the way around. Some of this craft wood is a soft wood, so we're going to take the square and cut it into small pieces using a handsaw. Adult supervision is required. I can also cut the boards by scoring the sides with an X-Acto knife and use a nail file to smooth out the rough edges. Glue them evenly spaced going around the edge of the cardboard, leaving an opening for the entrance. Then we take the small rectangle wooden slats and glue them on the outside edge to make the paddock fence. We glue the rails on the inside for our riding arena. To make the gate, I measure the space between the opening and the height of the post, starting from on top of the bottom board. I cut two boards for the length of the bottom. The length of my post was about four and a half inches. I want to cut the beams to fit between these top and bottom boards, so I subtract their width from my measurement, making it about three and three quarters. Measure and cut the wood, I cut three to glue in between. Cut and glue one across. Once it's dry, turn it over and glue another piece of wood going across. We carefully remove the hinges from these small wooden boxes. Using a generous amount of glue, glue one side of the hinge onto the gate so the glue pushes up through the holes, being careful not to get any on the hinge. Glue the other side onto the post to make a gate that can swing open. Or you can measure a piece of chain across the opening, add jump rings on the ends, place the jump rings over the post to close off the area. I can use watercolors to stain the fence. You can also buy the watercolors individually to get darker, more concentrated color. You may choose to pre-paint your boards before gluing them together if you are concerned about wetting the cardboard. Once dried, I can cover the cardboard with scrapbook paper like this green grass for a paddock or use a sand scrapbook paper for an arena. And scrapbook paper will allow the horses to stand on a smooth surface without falling down. However, if you're looking for a little texture, then kinetic sand is a good option. Smooth out a thin layer. Depending on the size of the arena, it may require a few boxes. And if space is an issue, you can always do both. Glue down grass scrapbook paper for the paddock, then cover with sand to turn it into an arena. And now that we have an arena, our horses can start a little training. We take a wooden dowel and paint it white. Once dried, begin wrapping it with small amounts of masking tape. And I like to leave a small tab so it will be easy to remove later. Paint the untaped areas. Carefully remove the tape to make ground poles. Adjust the size to fit your models. I can also make only half of the arena to save space. And you're done. Happy crafting!
movie. Do you want to watch the show with me? Wait a minute, Chloe, you are watching TV? Now this I've got to see. A whole summer at Grandma's ranch. This is going to be so great. Worst summer ever. How do they expect for me to live with no cell reception? Wow, this show is good. I can totally relate with that character. We want to give a shout out to Beauty and Briars. What's up? <laughs> no! Snowman! <laughs> Sophie, it's okay. It's just a TV show. <laughs> I know.